Yo, what is up guys? Hope you're all having a fantastic day. So today we're going to be checking out Halo 3. Because if you don't know, um, all these games are going to be shut down. Um, you'll, st you'll still be able to play them offline. You just won't be able to play matchmaking or anything that's online really. Just, uh, I think like customs and probably like Forge is the only thing you'd be able to play online. But that's about it. Matchmaking is going to be gone forever. So before we get into this, I do want to mention, I actually made a video on this way back then, probably like, uh, I honestly don't even remember, but it was quite a while ago just to kind of see how it was way before, and now we're finally on basically the last day, and let's see if anything changed, let's see if the population went up, or possibly even went down somehow, you know, that's what we're here to do. So here we got Legendary Halo 3, what a legendary game this is. And yeah, let's go ahead and take a look. So let's go to playlist, go to social. So I think we have to uh, check. Yeah, we have to like go to the entire playlist. Yeah, okay. So this one still has no population. Um, it's kind of hard to tell on Halo 3 if it has um, a population or not. Or rather, players in it. Because as you can see here, it doesn't really say. But for other ones, it does say. Like right here. If you look at the bottom corner, it says Team Doubles, Population Zero. But for some reason, it doesn't do that on other ones. And I'm assuming that's because it has some players in it. Um, but from the looks of it, it looks about the same as last time when I made a video on this. Most of the playlists are empty. Um, granted, this is ranked. Not many people play ranked. Let's go ahead and look at the population overall for the entire game. So if you look at the bottom right corner, or rather, bottom left corner, my bad. Um, it says we got 1,328 gamers online. And as you can see, of course, most of them are in the U.S. But, you know, we got a couple around the world as well. Um, it's actually funny because you could see like a really, you could see like a red dot at the very, or not a red dot. You could see a white dot at the bottom right corner of the map. And there's like one player there who's playing. I don't know what place that is. You know, sorry, I'm not the smartest, but <laughs> I really don't know what that is. But it's like right next to Australia. Um, if someone could tell me what that is, um, I'm sorry, I don't know. <laughs> so let's go ahead and try to find a game here. So we're going for uh, Social Slayer here. It seems to be the most populated playlist right now, um, which makes sense. You know, everyone loves Slayer. And it's not too sweaty, just your typical, you know, Slayer match. And this lobby system's like, so great. You know, you're able to, like, see... Well, right now I can't, but... I think after everyone loads in or something, you could see, like, people's accounts and stuff. You can see, like, their armor, you know, what they've done. Like, their accomplishments, like, for campaign and stuff. It's, it's awesome. I really wish Infinite had this kind of pre-lobby system. It's unfortunate. So here we are, we got Team BRs on Construct. Um, yeah, this map is not exactly my favorite, I'll be honest. But, you know, we'll take it, we'll take it. We do got a sniper over here, so let's go ahead and grab that. See if I can snipe some fools. But, um, yeah, I mean, man, dude, Halo 3 is a legendary game. It's crazy that, you know, the online services for this game are going to shut down. Um, and it kind of sucks, you know, at, at the very least we have MCC, which I think is great. You know, we're able to still experience Halo 3, just not in the tr traditional sense, which really sucks. But, um, wow, man, I mean, this game just, like, changed the game back then. I swear, like, games were so legendary back then. Nowadays, games just freaking blow. Oh, I don't want to snipe my teammate. <laughs> I don't think I sniped him, but, you know, he was kind of in the way, so... Oh, that was interesting. Holy moly. I really wish Infinite launched in a better state. Whoa, I'm lagging. Whoa. Got a little elite here. <laughs> oh, I just got a double kill. Man, the freaking dinos. I didn't get... I didn't own a 360. At the time when this game came out, but I did play it over at a friend's house most of the time. 
Um, and so I was, like, so jealous because, like, you know, they were able to play this game online. And this game had, like, basically every single weapon from Halo 2, which made it even better in my eyes back then. And <laughs> it was just so funny because I would always, like, make some excuse and say, Oh, Halo 2 is so much better. I was like, they have the, uh, what's it called? They have the brute shot. And then <laughs> I would come over here and play this game. And this game would have the brute shot. And I would just kind of, like, keep saying the same stuff. I'd be like, oh, it doesn't have the SMG. Because they got the AR now. And it's like, nope, Halo 3 has it too. And so it was cool, man. The sandbox of Halo 3 had a good amount of weapons. It was nice. And it had most of them from Halo 2. Um, <clears throat> and yeah, they were all pretty unique, I would say. Wow, okay, so the entire team basically left. Well, the enemy team. They basically left, so that's kind of lame. Um, so you still deal with quitters in this game, <laughs> as you do in MCC and, uh, Halo Infinite. <laughs> There's still quitters, no matter what. Although, in this one, they do get penalized for it, but... Let's be realistic. No one really cares about Halo 3 anymore. But yeah, I had the huge, like, such huge memories on freaking Forge. That's where I had most of my memories on, is on Customs. Because I was, like, a super casual player when it came to Halo back then. Nowadays, I'm more into the competitive side. I like playing ranked most of the time. Um, you know, of course, I still like playing, like, BTB or something like that. But most of my time, I like playing, like, ranked or something more competitive-like. And, yeah, back then, man, freaking customs on Halo 3, they were so, they were great, man. It was so game-changing. <clears throat> it was so game-changing just, like, being able to create, like, your own little mini-game inside of a game. And that just blew my mind back then as well. As a kid, it was, it's crazy. You know, there was times where I'd go over to my friend's house as well, and we'd play, um, like, four-player split-screen online matchmaking. Like, those were the days. That was amazing back then. That was funny. How you could do that back then. And it's funny as well because like... You could tell when you're matching... A squad of four playing split screen. Because you would have like the guest account numbers. Next to their name or whatever. So like for me it would be like Lost Odious T. And then it would be Lost Odious T1. And then 2 and then 3 or something like that. It was funny. Um, and that's when you would know you're playing with people who are like split screening. Um, and it, I don't know, man, I mean, this game was just, it was so ahead of its time. You could do, like, so much, and, you know, that's why it was so popular, because there was just so much you could do. So, yeah, that's Halo 3, man. I'll definitely remember it, um, you know, introduced, it, it introduced so much into gaming. Um, you know, it had s some fantastic systems that I wish were carried on over, um, you know, into, like, today's games. Um, and I would say for the most part it was, but then they kind of, you know, games just kind of started going downhill. That's just kind of my take on it. Um, you know, a lot of games just released unfinished. <clears throat> Halo Infinite. <clears throat> um, but, you know, it's unfortunate that we'll never really have a gem like this made in uh, the future. I mean, we probably will, but it's going to be extremely rare. Because there's definitely some games out there right now that are still pretty good. Um, but I don't know, man. I don't think anything will ever match Halo 3's greatness. And it's just unfortunate to be saying that. But that being said, let me know what your memories are on Halo 3. What you enjoyed about the game the most, or really anything. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.